So what's up, guys? I want to sell some books. I want to sell some uh, movies, basically Blu-rays that I'm not going to be using, watching, or reading anymore. So we're going to book off today. I'm going to vlog this whole thing. We're going to take a nice walk. we got to kill some time. So take a journey with your boy. Let's get to it. doubt I can record while the store is taking the items so I'm just showing you how much stuff I'm bringing in a lot of blu-ray movies a lot of books a lot a lot you know and if you look that this is a suitcase it goes deep in you see that so that much worth look there's even books in the back back there so it's a lot of stuff to bring in and most importantly I got time to kill so what I'm doing is I'm actually taking advantage of the time I'm gonna ship something out to Mega Dan something out to J Love and something out to a uh, DOA hitman so stay tuned guys and let's get on this journey hey guys so I got this bad boy right here um, almond milk iced coffee with a uh, flavored shot of hazelnut and one sugar the sugar is just to give me a little rush and um, yeah it's pretty much just to kill some time you know I gotta be up three hours from now so because of that I'm gonna take my time look for a post office and then I'll go from there. So we're gonna we're gonna go on the journey together. So this is just a start up. I still need my shift to finish. I have 40 minutes to go and um yeah, pretty much we'll get to it soon. Hey, so what's up guys? My work shift is officially over, so now I'm gonna do my Nintendo Switch Thanos combination snap and I'm gonna change. So let me show you this nice Legend Zelda pin I wear on my blazer. Let's do it. And that's it guys, I officially changed and now it's time to start the true adventure. Um, I gotta block that thing out right there cause that is copyright infringement. And I'm not wearing a hat cause I don't wear hats when it's above 70 degrees because I sweat and then sweats out the hat. So I'm gonna be bored the rest of the summer. So let's continue the adventure. Bad news guys, bad news. This location is not for um, delivering packages so I'm pretty much fucked but I got another location to go to so let's uh let's keep this shit rolling that's all we got time and money well time at least okay so what's up guys we delivered right here everything worked out perfect so um we had to do a little traveling um from 34th to 45th we made it happen see how thick the receipt is so we're gonna go over to the spot right now we're gonna put you in the video all right see you in a little bit we finally made it. It's nice and early, so we still got a little bit of time before we get there. I've been carrying that bag with me. It's pretty damn heavy. So I'm gonna go chill out in this park and we're gonna chill out. It's about uh 8.17, so I got less than two hours to go. So this is booked off. We're going to uh, be selling all designers here to see how much we get. My uh, um my guess is hopefully I get 200 bucks, so we'll see. What's up guys, I'm back. So we're literally right around the corner from Book Off. They're like right over here. I just turn in and boom, we're in this uh, little place right here. So I'm chilling right now. I got a chair table, it's wet. So I'm not putting my stuff down. So right now I'm just watching some anime and I got my Nintendo Switch. We're gonna kill some time now. And um, next time I film, the next stuff I film is gonna be inside the store after I trade everything in. Um, I'm just gonna film, I'm not gonna speak too much because I don't know if we can film in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to walk and film. I'm gonna try to show you guys as much as I can and if we go over 200, if we hit the goal, um, I might buy one or two things. So let's see, let's hope that we uh, pull it off, all right guys? So I'll see you in the next part.
some Chipotle to uh, give me something to eat since it's already 11 a.m. You feel me? Hey, what's up, guys? So the journey's finally over. I made it home at 12.32 p.m. It was a long ride home. The train was moving like a snail. But we made it home, guys. I do have some pickups. And this is my third take. So my, my pickups are to the side. But guys, it was a fun experience. Um, trading wise, I don't suggest bringing stuff there. They like going to a pawn shop. It's not like a real trading. It's like going to a pawn shop. And I mean that. Like the prices are very, very low. And they're very strict. They want like complete in box. So even if I bring them a movie that's in great condition, they want the Blu-ray and the DVD. That is so greedy. I don't see the sense of that, but they want the complete in box. So I, I had to actually take back like probably like 10 or more movies, like a whole stack of movies I had to take back. But it's all good. I'm not, you know, I was just trying to condense. I'm just going to tell, I'm thinking about putting all those movies in a bundle on eBay. Boom, somebody just take all those damn movies. Like I don't want them. And um, all my books were taken, of course. Books and movies, these are items that go down in value. So at the end of the day, I can't get mad. It just was a lot lower. I, I estimated 200, we ain't getting nowhere near that. But I made pickups and I made more money than I spent. So technically, it's a win-win for me. I trade like I traded in my stuff for some new games. So before we show I show you the new pickups. Book off is an excellent place to go, excellent place to shop. Not a great place to sell, but if you if you don't mind pawn shop prices, you just want to get rid of something, they take all your shit. They take it all. And I highly suggest visiting that store. So now let me show you guys my pickups. Um first pickup, this was the expensive one. I got NBA Street Volume 2 for PS2, 20 bucks. All these games are complete in box with manuals. Some are more dirty than others. Uh, the next game I picked up, another PS2 Classic for $6. One of my favorite PS2 beat-em-ups, The Lord of the Rings Return of the King. It's a beat-em-up, action, RPG type of beat-em-up where you can upgrade and level up your characters. Excellent game. I had a great time with this, me and my friends growing up. I love that game. Another one for 6 bucks, Bully on PS2. Now, I know I boosted that this game was the shit on the Nintendo Wii. And it, that still is the best version. But for $6, I can play Bully. I have a composite capable TV to play it on. So I picked it up. $6, why not? You can't beat that, guys. You cannot beat that. So, yeah, I definitely got Bully for PS2. And I don't worry. I always clean these stuff up. I take all my games apart. I clean the manuals. I clean the boxes. I take off stickers. I take care of my shit when I buy used. Uh, next game, now we have a Nintendo GameCube game. This was the second highest price game I bought. For $16, complete in box, I got Metroid Prime for the Nintendo GameCube, a game I always wanted to play. Um, the box is really dirty, but uh, I could clean this up, give it a little touch up, a little polish, make it look better. So yeah, we got Metroid Prime. I'm very excited for this one. And last but not least, another game. This, this is a game I spoke about the other day. I played it on GameCube. I played it on PS2, but my favorite version is the Nintendo Wii version of... Resident Evil 4. So this is actually Resident Evil 4 Wii Edition. It has the best graphics out of any version of the game. And it has the best controls. It has motion controls. And you can connect the Pro Controller. The Classic Controller. You can connect all that shit. It's a fun game to play. And this was the farthest I've ever been in this game was this version. I still never beat this game. I need to give it another shot. And I ended up getting pickups out of trying to sell something. But overall, guys... First off, shout out to Die Hard Gamer Bros. Jeff was um, Jeff from the Die Hard Gamer Bros. suggested this idea since he knew I was going to book off. And I was like, you know what? Let's do this. And I, I just started filming once we spoke about it. And I had a good time doing this one. I did a lot of walking, which is good. It's good for the heart. I had Chipotle, which is not good for the heart. I got a good experience. I did some shopping, did some sales, selling. I didn't get to do no haggling. Got a long ride home. And now I can just relax, take a shower, and go to sleep because your boy is tired. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to see more things like this, let me know. Drop, drop something in the comments. Let me know how you feel about this video. Real talk. And most importantly, if you guys got any suggestions, you want me to do stuff like this more often, you want me to see me do something different, put it in the comment section. I give everybody a read. And uh, let's keep it rolling, man. I'm over 400 subs. Just over. Just slightly over. Let's get to 500, man. Let's try to get to 500 by next month. Let's make it happen. 
Hope you guys enjoy the video. And of course, can't forget, it's me, your guy, T-Belly. And I'm signing off. Cheers.